We get to wake up to this uh, little bit of snow on the old truck here, but uh, that's good. We're gonna show you all kinds of cool stuff today. What is going on today, guys? Like I said, Merry Christmas. And today we got a special Christmas edition. We are up again at my absolute favorite place, the old testing grounds, Mount Washington on Vancouver Island. And last night we got a little bit of snow. As you can see, my truck is, I would not call it buried in by any means. But there's a little bit of snow. We are gonna be slapping on some chains on this truck. I'll show you how to put the chains on and briefly talk about different kinds of chains and what those kinds of chains are used for primarily. Anyways, guys, stay tuned for some awesome snow footage. And we are gonna really test this thing out with some chains on her. I'm excited. We were expecting, we were expecting about a foot of snow last night. We got maybe about six inches. Um, that being said, we are getting a lot more snow today as well as tonight, but for right now, what we're going to do is just try and pull this thing out in two-wheel drive. I think I, I will get a little bit hung up, so let's do that right now, and then uh, we'll show you guys how to put those chains on. Alright guys, as you saw, uh, we really didn't get anywhere in two-wheel drive. In four-wheel drive, we'd probably be just fine, but for the point of the video, let's just call ourselves a little bit stuck. And so what we're going to do is we're going to slap these chains on, and uh, they're called V-bar chains, if you can see the little V's on there, and which is one of the most aggressive types of chains you can buy, which is exactly what we need or want. And uh, so yeah, we'll go from there. So it turns out the boys at Canadian Tire uh, gave me some chains that were probably a little bit too big for my wheels, uh, which is why I'm struggling around here trying to figure out what's going on. Um, but I make it work. Chains are on both sides. Like I think they're just a little bit too big for these wheels for whatever reason. I don't know. That's what the guys at Canadian Tire told me to, told me to buy. So I mean take it or leave it but anyways so i'll keep this thing in two-wheel drive and hopefully we can kind of pull out of this snow-covered parking lot with ease that's the plan <laughs> whether that happens or not that's what we're here to find out it's going good Not the biggest test in the world but it does show that with the chains on and only two-wheel drive it does add quite a bit more traction that's what they're built for no surprise there um, but i just want to show you guys a nice easy simple comparison um, of how much kind of grip they actually do give you Now I'll go over the exact same little hump of snow, uh, still in two wheel drive, except without the chains on. And you guys will notice the huge difference. Now keep in mind guys, I do have an open differential in the rear. Um, so at times only one wheel is gonna spin, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I'm literally stuck right there. Didn't even move, just, literally just took the truck out of four-wheel drive and uh, she doesn't even want to move. Mm -hmm. 
So speaking of types of snow, um, not all snow has the same, let's say, traction characteristics. Um, for example, the snow that we're in right now is super dense, super wet, super heavy snow, which tends to be um, a little more slipperier than, let's say, um, the light and fluffy snow. And so that's why you really see my truck struggle pretty mightily, even though there's really not that much snow. It's just because it's so wet and slippery um, that the rear end really just can't bite in anything. It just ends up sliding all over the place. Almost! Oh! Oh, we almost had it, guys. Almost had her. So... I hope that at least shows some evidence of how good chains can be. So there you go guys, you can see that uh, there's tons and tons of grip with these chains on in just two wheel drive. And we're gonna go see if we can find a nice snowy hill. So we'll, we'll try this truck in four wheel drive with the chains on and see um, how well it does going up a nice snowy hill. And then what we'll do is we'll take the chains off and we will retest and see how much of a difference these chains actually make now, like I said, I think they make a pretty big difference because first of all, like these are, like I mentioned earlier, these are kind of the, the V, uh, the V bar chains, which tend to have a lot more grip than what you would call your highway chains. Now your highway chains are literally just, they just look like they have just chain link across the, the wheel and they're great for ice and they're great for on the highway. Um, these things are much better in like deep snow and even in mud, actually, they do tend to work pretty well. So originally I'm from the East coast and um, chains aren't really a thing at all. Not until it came out to the West Coast do you actually see signs that say, you know, like, when flashing, chains must be on no matter what, even if you have winter tires. Like, um, you know, for example, I do have a really nice set of um, Wrangler Duratracs, which are pretty highly rated in the snow and highly rated for ice. And, um, you know, even with those, they still wouldn't let you up certain roads or certain passes in certain weather conditions. Enough of me talking, we will, um, go find a nice snowy hill and we will really try and see how good these chains are and how much grip they actually give you All right guys, so this is the hill we've chosen um, As you can see, well hopefully you can see it's a little bit uh, snowy and some fog up here Which is kind of interesting, but you can see this hill just gradually kind of goes up um, The snow cats have kind of groomed it so the wheels will sink in quite a bit So it'll be a good test to see how much grip we actually get with the chains and without the chains now I'll be in four-wheel drive lock um, with the traction control off and the ESC system off just to make it fair in both runs. So let's get testing. All right, ladies, um, this beautiful position stick is as far as I got with the chains on. That's my front tire right there. So what I'm going to do now, obviously, like I just said, I'll take the chains off and we will retest and hope you guys can see it's super just soft, crappy snow here. So my tires will sink in real nice. We'll get these chains off and we will retest. Oh, yeah. I like some nice ugh, cold hands. Look at that, my girlfriend did that. She smashed my finger. I didn't mean to. Now hopefully this doesn't scratch my Plasti Dip rims. That would be probably worst case scenario, guys. I don't know if I'd recover from that. That's what we do up here in Canada. We even teach the ladies how to put chains on and off vehicles. Cause when the snow's deep, it's deep. Like the... Oh yeah, okay. Ugh.
So really no difference on this test. Maybe I didn't do it right, I don't know. But this is real world testing. Sometimes things don't always go as you plan. So this is my front tire with the chains on and this is my front tire with no chains on. So as far as this test is concerned, there really is no difference. in the parking lot. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright guys, we're back in the parking lot where we started. Um, now, as you saw, when we did the four-wheel drive test with the chains on the back tires, we didn't really get that much farther than without them on. Now, a couple theories I have on this is because that snow, even though it was a little bit compacted, there really was no bottom to it, so the tires just kept sinking and sinking and sinking. Whereas, if there was a bottom to it, like what we're standing in right now, the chains can dig through the snow pretty easily and then finally get and really grip onto what's underneath as in pavement, gravel. But when the snow is pretty deep, um, it's just gonna keep digging down. And I even kind of showed you the crater that the rear wheels actually left with the chains on. It was much, much bigger than any of the um, kind of holes that the tires without chains dug. So that's my theory number one. Second theory is without the chains, I felt much more comfortable spinning the wheels much faster. Um, that could be another factor. With these chains on, um, I really was not keen to spin those tires extremely fast and have, I don't know, something fly off and just completely bury my fender with a bunch of chains. So that's another reason maybe why um, the chains didn't do as well as we thought they would, or at least what I thought they would. So that's what I think. Now, as you guys know, I can be a little bit of an idiot sometimes. So there you have it. That's some real world testing. Doesn't always happen like you think it would. Um, but I think just when we were messing around in the parking lot in two wheel drive in, I don't know, maybe six, seven inches of snow, it made a really big difference compared to if I was just in two wheel drive um, without chains on. But we are gonna go inside, warm our hands up, and uh, hopefully we see you on the next freaking video.